Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, everything, and amazing propaganda cast with me, host Imperial Dane. The one and only master of propaganda here of Psych Defender of the Fatherland of your one and one own twin beaches. In the south, it is the most gentle foxes. A gentle fox. Finding here for America. Oh, not for America. Quite the opposite. Germany, Deutschland, das Vaterland. He is setting out with the... 16th Panzer Division here with Coastal Battle Group Breakthrough and Mechanized in the North Stands. The coolest of cats is Pax Ajax fighting for America Freedom. Democracy here with the 45th Infantry. Straight into Advanced Infantry Battle Group, which seems to have become his new favorite one there. Having supplanted Special Operations and the Weasel. Double Scout Ralph Scorch Dart here versus a Twiddle Pioneer start from General Fox rushing out to some of the more contestable field points are like the one in the hill here and the right one closest to Pax Ajax base here and going for a fightingness what on earth here from Gentle Fox wowza definitely not something I expect to see here in the early game I mean except from Luftwaffe but this is a very aggressive disruptive play there from Gentle Fox 50 manpower but at the same time units side of it get a bonus there obviously Pioneer's not going to be great but they can just, like keep something at bay but say Grandier squad md for a 2 team could be quite nasty so this is a very aggressively unusual play there. I'm really curious to see where that goes, but you know, just want to point out this is definitely not standard play, and it certainly advises a bit of caution with it, no matter how this goes. But you know, it's still really unusual. As always, a big hearty thanks to my patron supporters for the continued and general support of the propaganda cast, and a big hearty thanks for commenting, liking my videos, helps out immensely as well. And a hearty thanks to Andrew for donating support the propaganda cast with this hard earned money, helps you, of course, again, you know, paying bills and whatnot. So, whoa, hey. General Fox didn't just go for one fighting nest, but went for two, and the other one's on the western cutoff point. Wow, this is just... Yeah. This is very aggressive in a defensive way. Second round for Pax Ajax. It'll be interesting to see how Pax responds to this, because again, definitely not your usual type of play here. At least not what I've noticed so far. From observing replays and such. But General Fox here is definitely exploring the meta game in new ways. Pioneers are hunting down the scouts, leaving the fighting nest there. Yet to connect the field point, I think it's sort of more likely he's just using this against like just frustrate packs here. Just try and try and draw in more resources, similar to this one here. Which took some damage while being built, so it's not quite as structurally safe here. Grenades on there for Pax Ajax, going to try and flush out the germs there from their finding nests. Unsurprisingly, Grenades will arrive squatting up in there. Mount Bacon will need support from the Pioneers here, since others are going to learn. Will get their ass asses handed to them by the Rav Squad, but supported by the Pioneers, they do stand a chance here. Closing on the Pioneers here, Rav are beating up the Grenadiers, Pioneers closing in. South side here, Pioneers, they are getting grenade. I've got to see a white here thing, unless he retreats now, and with a retreat now, could be too late here. But still, with this kind of opening here, even if, like, you know, ultimately, General Fox does get pushed back, it does achieve, like, you know, one noble goal. It denies Pax Ajax an immense amount of fuel here in the early game. Though, of course, the counter-argument is, though, he's not getting a lot of fuel. So while he's denying, he's not really gaining. That does slightly undercut the advantage from this otherwise from Gentle Fox. So not quite as shows a clear-cut winner there, in a sense. Third round's going the way there for Pax Ajax with the Ranger squad ability there. we got a single new squad plus an enemy photo for Gentle Fox. Got the fuel point on the hill here. No battle group yet, though. Got the Glenys being forced with the Carnite TK bolt action rounds, but yeah, a lot of like, you know, shall I say, air quote bungers would certainly just, you know, be in these sort of more improvised things made out of lo logs, wooden sandbags, you know. Fun fact. MD42 teaming up for General Fox. We do get mechanized. General Fox, a big mechanized battle group player. He does go for fuel seizure. Could add this out a bit sooner, in which case, you got to garden the extra fuel out of just grabbing this one here. Quick note there. He probably also get the southern fuel point here. We got Ralph's got by the southern victory point. Pax definitely not allowing himself to be intimidated here by Gentle Fox. No, sir. Not one bit. Glenn has been pushed back here. Didn't get into the building here. Sweeping push here by Pax Ajax. Luffer for company for Gentle Fox. Very standard choice there. Pushing for the fuel there, Mount Baker. Gentle Fox here pushing southwards, casting the Ralph's by the southern victory point. German forces are riding from Northern Hill here. And Pax Ajax moves in swiftly. Come on, guys. Let's throw those crowds. What for? Yeah. Yeah. Quiet down there, Gene. 
Anyways, infant support's in the way there for Pax Ajax. Finding here, brewing up in the south here. Pax Ajax quickly moving up behind some of the heavier cover here to try and stall out the machine gun and the pioneer supporting. Lufa for company right around the corner. I would expect a 2 to 1 here for General Fox, but we'll see. Ooh, caught the raft call there out of cover. Suppressing them. And now we do get some grenadiers plus more pioneers. And General Fox actually goes to the flat 30 here. They flieger up their Kanone 30. Captain on the way there for Pax, plus the metal station right smoke there on the MD42. Nice shooting there by Pax, but we got the second wave of troops moving in here. The Grenadiers and the Pioneers going to catch here. Pax in a bit of an awkward spot. Pioneers Pioneer wiped out. Kills. Grenades off here. General Fox has now lost two Pioneer squads, which is definitely not good, particularly when you also factor in. He ultimately, again, wasn't able to like leverage a great field advantage from the initial control. rush strategy there, so... Things are looking a little less ideal here. Pax Ajax with a weapon support center. Pax Ajax clearly a big weapon support chap. Flak Fetter there moving in. Drums on the point with the Pioneers. In some early German or HEP organizational charts, you like to see these sort of organized into what was known as heavy machine gun teams. But, you know, I think that might have been just to deceive the enemy. But they were very much anti-aircraft guns. Though. That said, towards the end of the war, they would be primarily used against ground targets as their effectiveness against aircraft would dip significantly drop as aircraft got more heavy, the armoured, and also started to flying higher. So they would increasingly just be used against, like, you know, ground targets like infantry and light vehicles, which, you know, can't really do either. half tech on the way there for Pax Ajax. Gun is launching a sort of hill here, backed up the info too. Proper tactical approach here. Like, ooh, scout snaking past the gentle fox. Rob scores where we got the grand, or oh, two to one on the way there, plus a half trick there. For some reason, mine thought that was a greyhound. But there you go, machine needs to support the flak 38, but there you go, Pax Ajax in a really strong position. Oh, no, he moves out of that position. Big slip down, Pax Ajax. He does realize his mistake and hits retreat immediately to negate some of the incoming damage there, but that was definitely not an ideal call. Meanwhile, Pax Ajax slipping past gentle foxes. Pickets here and hitting the cutoff point there in this here. Grenadiers inside the building got ranges now for Pax. Very early ranges for Pax Ajax. It tends to be a bit later on them in my experience. And even, you know, we have seen matches where they all went for them. Anti tank half taken for Pax Ajax to support his infantry. Two to one here going for the scouts here. Really good harassment play though, Pax. I mean, at this point, General Fox is getting next to no fuel income. This is really good for Pax Ajax. And really like turns the table then, Pax, uh, General Fox there. Though again, General Fox is sort of getting some of those fuel points back again, but he's just not connected to many of them, if at all. And there you go, boom, bam, the machine gun, Flak 30, going for the white the scout with the 2 one Flak 30 and the machine gun here. But they had, yeah, they're pivoting on the same spot, they're getting bombarded here, did a bit of a slip there. Now Rangers from the 1st Ranger, Regiment are pushing forwards, is it the 1st Ranger Battalion? I really can't quite remember. Then he's been forcing, Medics upgrade their way for General Fox. Engineers for Pax Ajax, going for that card upon there, go Flak 30's too close, could get hit, yeah, grenade by the Rangers, nearly gets away, but that means the crew's gonna get cut down here, but Pax Ajax, armored car in trouble with the anti-tank half-track, an absolutely mess engage, there you go, MD42 team, ripping apart there, Pax Ajax, flat crew. Research completed. North here, route squad, bypassing the fighting list because it's occupied by Grenadier squad. They're definitely doing some work there for General Fox. Now, Pax Ajax looking to wreck the Flak 30 there before he can recruit. Nice work there, but there goes. Gonna get Panther Fausted. And then he can just grab the Flak 30 and turn against Pax Ajax and to tank half tech knock it out. Even this, it gets destroyed first. He does! He does get destroyed. But now the armored cart and the Indy 42 are flanking the anti tank half tech, which does have weaker re inside armor, knocking it out. Meanwhile, up here, Grenadiers are getting besieged with grenades inside the increasingly crumbling fighting nest. And we got a second Indy 42 for General Fox and the German army. 16th Panzer Division, 7th Panzer Grenadier Company getting absolutely, well, slaughtered here. He's going to lose the Grenadier Squad as well. Ah, like General Fox is taking massive losses. He's actually going for another Flak 30 here. I'm guessing he's going to go for an Aktrad here, though he could surprise us with a Stuvd and some Stars Tobin. Could also make up some of these infantry losses. But we'll have to see. Ranger Squad the sitting out there for the base of Pax Ajax. Like 30 on the way there. Engineers moving forwards. Machine guns forming up a defensive web here across 
north side here, but there's a flank here, but exposed. But Pax Ajax does act. Oh, they accidentally picks the captain as well. They just retreats just to be safe. South side, though, scouts moving up. They'll clear up servers. We want to look correct. Heading to the southern fuel point. Another flak 30 out here for General Fox. Most divisions would have had some small complement of flak guns of their own, but the vast majority of anti aircraft guns would actually very much be part of the Luftwaffe, which, in top of you know, controlling the Air Force, also controlled essentially most of the flak guns would form up these massive flak regiments and smaller flak units. Fun fact! Fun fact. And there you go. We do get an Arctide here selected here. Could call it in, but he may decide not to. It's hard to say here, obviously. Like, General Fox already so far, like, really made a lot of, like, very non-meta moves. So, it's hard to say here what General Fox is truly planning. But there we go. We do get the Arctic. Pax Ajax with another anti-tank hafting down the way. This time supporting it a bit more with infantry. Supporting infantry with it. Rangers there find themselves a bit shut out. Machine trying to catch up, not quite succeeding. Arctic there catching the scouts alongside the flag for See? Southern fuel point they open again here. Got a big massive engage across the enemy machine gun under fire from the tank half take here, bombarding with high explosive shells. Let her rip, Bob. Rangers swing in the MD-32 team right as a force reposition. Good push here, but we got the flag 30 right around the corner here. Looks like Pax forgot about it or didn't care either way, though his Rangers are definitely gonna care as they get hit by it, but nope. Not getting suppressed. In fact, they might even get a wipe in the gun at easy if General Fox is not careful. General Fox survived really short infantry. And he's going for another flat 30. What on earth is going on with General Fox? We have Barely in infantry deployed. and heavily sort of reliant on support weapons. Rangers are going for the flank of the MD42 team here. Armored cars, they're diving up the center here. Bazooka team's up for Pax Ajax. So any good addition against all these light vehicles. Armor car flanking in here, though, of course, it needs to be careful. Arctic again for the Rangers. Pioneers, they're in the danger zone. Back catch from Force and Healing. Pioneers, what? Well, that was Gen Fox's remaining Pioneers. Well, he will, of course, have to replace them. Sandbags for Pax Ajax. Selmir, Flex, Fed sitting up here. Oh, and then resets up and has to set up again. Rangers here could get wiped. Say, say chances are very strong here, in fact. Yup, that's going to be wiped here on Pax's Rangers. Stinging blows on both sides. And in the case of General Fox, a very unusual force composition. And he's quickly forced back here. More pioneers there for General Fox. How will Pax Ajax respond to this? Will he replace the Rangers? What will he do in this otherwise chaotic and messy battle? And there goes second flag photo there moving forwards. Pioneers standing by. Azuka team there spot it. Flax and machine guns there opening up. Hickler and Easting Salfords. And there you go. Tank Depot for Pax Ajax. Telefine there in the machine gun and the flak crews. General Fox is handling these flax quite boldly and aggressively. Southern Point mixes it with the 2 to 1 as it does have that with the raid package. Which allows it and other light vehicles like the Arctic to grab points. Fighting this on the fuel point, they're still standing for that matter. This one still is, though. Certainly, it's arguably this one is, you know, standing. I mean, is it like, you know, it is more yet to collapse than it's standing. Tank depot there, halfway done. The losses on both sides have been fairly grim. A lot of watch. Mortis there for Pax Ajax to counter the heavy support and build here from Gentle Fox. Plus, of course, makes it a bit harder for Gentle Fox to rely on finding nests. Rob Squad here trying to dodge the MD42, but they do not succeed. The south here, the anti tank after is the 2 to 1 here. Grenades on the fighting nest here. Then here's weather the storm. 2 to 1, though, does not. And Parasit in a ball of fire and shrapnel. Second octal out here, though, for General Fox and the German army. And now the tank depot is ready. Pax could say go for Hellcats here. Could also go for Shermans, go for Hunt and Farm with Sherman, so only all available here. And Flak Fred setting up the even as Pax is laying down mines, his men, meanwhile, on the beaches are getting torn to pieces. But there you go, Tilly here, Bazooka Team Draft Squad moving in here. Armored Car Arca, they make support here, Flak Fred could get a run. Medicine's one on it, Rav's caught their lone health, but he's going for it. Cuts an up for the Arctad as well. Got Mechanized Assault here. 
Decent shot there, snaring up here. Other Flak 30 moving in there. Other Arctic than the flank. Guard the mortar team. He just called in. They clearly was not paying attention there. He's going to break the Flak 30 at least. Do nine Gentle Fox, another support weapon, but really just losses on both sides are staggering. They're just both very aggressive driven players. We have vehicles ready to be deployed. And also both players clearly willing to like, you know, play a bit besides the usual stuff here. Bomber's got a wipe, he's gonna get snared up, but he does get the wipe. Hellcat is annoyed, it's gonna take a while to get there. Another white band for Pax Ajax. Both sides are low on infantry. But certainly not low on Gusto. Augusto then, you know. Courage. There we go. Almost got the Arctide here. That's going to be a huge win there. Four packs. We get rid of that. But the Arctide is running around too fast. He does get it there. But the machine gun is firing, it, firing into the side here. And... Ah, oh, loses. He cancels it for 100 fun showing the Hellcat. I kind of get why, but, you know... Emote support him and for Gentle Fox. And he is pushing towards the south here. Pax recruiting the mortar. Got 3 and 22 versus 4 and 13. Pax does have the other Gentle Fox, but we'll have to see for how much longer. And we got a martyr free here for Gentle Fox. So yeah, this is a, a rather crazy fight so far. Sherman, Hunter Fund Sherman, they're ready for Pax Ajax. Which is basically Sherman with a Hunter Fund, the Howard's mounted in it. Meant to provide artillery support for the tanks at close ranges. In a way, because it's so much of with the Stu 42 dead for Stu units. The Super Fund there and the Arctic there. Marder ready here for Gentle Vox. More Super Fund there, more Pioneers. Sherman going forward here. Mortifying joining in here. Almost got the machine gun there. Close call. Flag 30 in trouble though. Machine gun could also still possibly be in trouble here. No, it gets away there. Pioneers withdrawing here from the beach point. And we got their packs AJ sending in Captain Tom Thomason to the fuel point on the hill. Now the Rouse water for Pax Ajax. And we got the Marder Fleet us swing in the move to the front line here. Arctide moving ahead as well there. Now Pax Ajax had enough of that fighting nest. He's had enough. Dang nabbit. Arctide though pushing towards Mount Bacon where he's fairly certain there is no, you know, much entertainment there from Pax Ajax. Jaeger's on for Gentle Fox. More artillery observers here from Pax. Probably help just grab points here actually. Well, Miles probably of course are the utility here for him. Mortify on to Mount Bacon. What an absolutely delightfully crazy match. Pioneers pushing forward to Arctic going for the knees here, ripping apart with precise auto cannon crack to machine gun fire there. In the center of the raft squad being met by the Indy 42. Jaeger light infantry on station. Machine and them being hammered. Sherman forwards. The enemy has claimed our attack. Flag 30 there, turning into the Ralph squad. Machine gun setting up in front, Hunter Fund Sherman. We got the martyr on the flank, which is probably why General Fox is feeling confident he can get away with it. But obviously, even then, there's limits to his confidence. Luthaf's officer quarters there. Another great shot from the martyr on the Hunter Fund with Sherman. Flag 30 then moving forwards back to the Glenish machine gun. Jaeger's moving up. And there you go, the Zuga team are catching the mod in a bad spot. Great shot. Oh no! Gentle Fox makes a big mistake. He is popping the um, smoke, but it clearly doesn't matter. They've already been targeted with the satchel. And that's the martyr down here for Gentle Fox. That was a rather grievous tactical error there. One which, of course, Pax Ajax was more than happy to punish, you know, Gentle Fox for. Of course, they'll act up. Mine's going off here. Massive losses there. Entire squad suppressed here. Going for the cutoff point there. With the art card clearly looking to just mess with Pax Ajax economy, that of course remembers what he's trying to mess with it against and pulls back his art card. So, jet, both sides have slightly started to like, you know, refill the infantry lines. Up north, the art card pushing back the artillery up service. Got another martyr there for Gentle Fox. But of course, consider taking up the team player 
at the same time, I'll spit my tongue there. At the same time, he might be considering, you know, to just, you know, keep pushing on and get up Panthers. Which does make sense to degree. Cut off point here. The Jaeger is quickly dodging off. They could, of course, try and stay and grab the point. But in this case, it's too close to the enemy base. In this case, he's also already done the job. Like, you know, he's cut off his opponent's resource. can quickly move on to the next target. Sherman moving in here. And Guinea is moving in to repair it. Hellcat on the weather for Pax Ajax. As another Marder arrives here for Gentle Fox. So there you go. Another Marder flew ready here. Yeah, this is Rob Squad. Mortify there. Oh, missing a bit of point. She's going up against the mounts here from Cat on head on. Northern Pomp is by the Bazooka team. And there you go. Telecall the machine on there by the beach houses. Sherman rolling in here. Ooh, grenades if it could see possible the machine. What? Nope, that's way narrowly. Got the model engaging here, the Sherman, and gets Panda fast there. Definitely slipped over packs. I don't think he's got smoke there in the artillery observer to actually get his Sherman out of there. And he down it goes. Great wipe there. Or kill there for Gentle Fox. And now the artillery observer is going down in packs. Hey, it's literally trying to do a bit here. But it's cost him a lot there. And he lost not just the Sherman, but the artillery observers. And his Hellcat pays a deep price too. Another just absolutely battle. Just brimming with brutality and callousness from both players. Both seeking to destroy the other one, no matter the cost. Now the Raft Squad for Pax Ajax and Democracy Akhtar, Mud heading north at sea. Certainly feels like Gen Fox has built a Chanel Group, which was one of the primary types of battle you could see actually made of the Panservation, typically composed of, you know, the reconnaissance elements. And the tank destroyer elements, and then you're supported by some other infantry and whatnot. Is this seems kind of fitting there from uh, so gentle fox? He certainly feels like a schnell type of player. And yes, they would call that particular type of battle group a kampf a schnell gruppe. Fun fact. Raj got the Pawnees by the sun victory point. General Fox actually not OT and Pax Ajax in terms of extra points. So we've got the Hellcat ready here. Mounting a 76 mm gun on a more custom chassis for the Hellcat, whereas pretty much every US tank destroyer up to that point, it just make use of some kind of like other platform. You like to see early ones went half tracks with anti tank guns mounted on them. Then we later had the Sherman chassis being used both the M10 and the M36. But the M18 Hellcat actually had like a specifically purpose made chassis for it. Black photo there caught by the Ralph's court. Engineers with the Eggers. Arctic right there dashing in. Further south here. Ranger squad here arriving from Pax Ajax. We do have the Ranger weapon training though. No additional weapons. But he's going in hard here. Tracks machine and Hellcat going for the Marder. Another aggressive dive here by Pax Ajax. Marder there's about to get knocked out. Definitely not in a great position this kind of foot maneuver for. They do get Mech and Assault active here. Hellcat with a panther fast to the engine there. Still, Gentle Fox is now close to the a Panther. 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 The they also got a bunker going up. Interesting enough to cover the southern points here. Rangers can wear the Jaegers. Hellcat there going for the Arkhart. Rangers about to get the Jaegers wiped. Grenadiers being forced between me and their Rangers need to be careful here. Pax Ajax definitely feels more like a Salerno Ranger type of guy. For those wondering that, the Rangers there got utterly obliterated. Part because. Uh, the generals used them, kind of overused them in uh, roles that were not really intended for. Rangers were actually sort of more like, you know, commandos. But what happened is the tip just got used a lot like their panzer grenadiers, like, you know, just mainline heavy assault troops. If that makes sense. Smoke deployed here. Saved the Rangers, but his Hellcat's about to get knocked out. Didn't get the arc time. Now we have a panther out here for Gentle Fox. Pax Ajax situation is definitely getting a bit more uncomfortable here now. It's not smooth sailing for Gen Fox either. Pax Ajax clearly took some risks that didn't all quite pan out there. The Zoom team this bottom machine and the Panther, the Panzerkampf Wagen 5. As for MD, which was the earliest model of Panther. Mortar setting out there. 
little fun fact about Panther, the very earliest designs of the Panther very much just looked like a German T-34. At which point someone said, uh, couldn't we like maybe change it up just a bit? And so they did. Punish the part the engineers Ralph Scott pushed back. Trying to get the fuel point here, we got the Panther going in there. Pax Ajax may have a bloody nose, but he is far from beaten. He is Pax Ajax after all. And poor Joe there, stuck and set up to find again the entire squad to press. Panther numbering in his role here. Till it called in the machine gun here. Machine gun is falling back. Rascal being pushed off as well here. I'm guessing Pax's next goal will be just more Hellcats here. Rangers saying Norfolk's captain there may want to be pulled back for some reinforcements in healing. Panther moving four vets for the fatherland here. Report, the Another Hellcat there for Pax Ajax. Machine and Mr. Rangers pushing Norfolk's here. Has Another Arctrat for Gentle Fox. That's going to be two Arctrats and a Panther now. Which is definitely bad news for Pax's infantry. And there you go. Ranger spot here by the Arctic RT. Glenn is holding a bit of trouble there. Victory point lost. Flag 30 moving up as well here. Kind of forgot about that. Flag 30. But General Fox clearly did not. Captain on the hill. They're about to run to trouble. Bazooka team that grabbed the victory point. Diving in there. Panther at the ready. Rouse got more support here. Pushing into the center. Arctic got there going for a wipe. Hellcat right around the corner. Can he save the captain? The answer to that, of course, is a no. He can't. Okay, that's going to go for that. Arctrat could combine that with a snare, which could allow him to maybe take out the Arctrat here, which would certainly be very beneficial here for Pax Ajax. And this Arctrat has really been beneficial for him. Black the team with the advanced rail squad head on here. Bazooka team moving up here. Almost got it using smoke here. Quite effectively. Got the Arctrat here, the schwerer puncher Spielwagen. Black 30 there, they're tearing into the advance and rifle, but Pax Ajax doesn't care, he sends them forwards. Don't worry, save it, Pride Reiner, over blew his effectiveness. It just blew Jenkins apart. Eh. Gotta stop watching all those movies. Placebo effect, you know. Pony uses the Hellcat. Almost got the Flag 30 there, got double MG 42, who's definitely put so much firepower to the rifle, they cannot advance no matter how much Pax Ajax convinced, tries to convince them that the machine guns are harmless. Parnese fighting for the Northern Hill. Mords there blasting tube after tube of mortar rounds there into the advancing German forces, but they are missing. And now we got a small blitzkrieg here from General Fox timing straight through the center here. Another Hellcat for Pax Ajax. Rangers going for their veterancy too. Pioneers in trouble in the Guineas, but the Guineas are on the hunt of trouble with the Arctard. General Fox could try and take up. Ooh, Hellcat there for the Panther, but gets flanked by Jaeger squad. Both South of Rouse squad coming in. More Jaegers for General Fox. Arctard going for the Rangers. Really just a crazy fight here, to be honest. Needs about to fix up the Hellcat. Second one almost ready. Ralph Squad's Bazooka team's moving ahead here. Airburst shells from Pax Ajax trying to hit the Germans, but not quite hitting. Bazooka team there met by the other enemy foe to Ralph Squad. They're forced back. Hellcat moving in. Smoke deployed though, but sadly too late here for Pax Ajax to help that beleaguered uh, team there. And then far south, Pioneers have snuck up behind Pax Ajax sentries and are going for the fuel point, forcing Pax to actually double back troops to deal with that. Big two points, why this situation is not improving for Pax. He's not out of the match, but his odds are not improving. There you go, Flak 30 again at it. Still no suppressor fire here. Jaegers have been engaged for the Rangers, going for that Flak 30. We got a second Jaeger squad here supporting the, the Flak 30. Rangers and Hellcats on the moving machine sitting up. Arkad to the rescue in the south. Rangers there being mauled by the MD 32 here. And Pax's southern beach push here has very much been completely derailed. Panther moving four vets. Staying close to the infantry. Another Arctic in for Gentle Fox. 
mines that have been laid down by our mess with here as General Fox strikes. Arctic Yeggs can bring up the south side here. But Mortify again, quite missing the mark here, south side. German forces approach the Ching and gobbling up the southern frontier. Brass Corp, Bazooka Team there, Hellcats on the move. But there you go, another Arctic there. Panther effect fire here. Hellcats going for that arc guard here. The Panther could of course move support. Rangers charging in here. Dashing in. Going for the flag 30. Grenades in the empty foot. Rob's got though. Almost wiped out. But so is the machine gunner. Hellcat swinging in there. Almost got the flag 30. But taking fire from the other arc guard. Hellcats are just charging. He's in an absolutely benderish move there. But there you go. Panther there. Taking fire. Flag 30 wiped with the range themselves. Almost dead. Mech and I saw popped here. More bazooka fire there. Panther gets one of the Hellcats, but the Panther itself is almost knocked out. More bazooka fire there for the side armor. Machine gun wiped. Panther effects almost got the Hellcat, and the Panther looks like it may just survive. Cut off on being hit. This match is getting crazy engagements here. Really impressive manager skill too for both players. Hellcat down though. Black photo crude and merged with here. Thumbs up there to Gentle Vox. This point, it's kind of looking like it might be a bit over here for Pax Ajax. Unless he's got some kind of like absolutely brilliant maneuver in mind here. The stuff of movies, but there you go. It is GG from Pax Ajax. A loss for Pax, a victory for Gentle Fox. An absolutely spectacularly brutal battle here with heavy losses on both sides some innovative tactical moves here by general fox going for double fighting this move there for some of the most critical points for his opponent definitely not something i would have seen coming there and pax AJ, i think handled very well but there were some issues there unit preservation at crucial times i think that caused pax and the like, i think general fox to get a bit further ahead here is like again those crucial moments really great fight here so hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something from it if you did subscribe like check comment tell your friends tell your family and as always you can support the propaganda cast by donating on patreon patreon this is improving cheers and see you all tomorrow for another episode bye everyone